Hi folks, it is Jacqueline, JW Van Minimal. And um, so today is a random chat. I am not talking about like, well, I am sort of talking about the process of me transitioning to van life because part of that transition has to do with self-care. But this is a random chat because I feel I'm practicing self-care right now. That means doing things that I enjoy. First of all, I do have a couple of sick family members. So I am actually at the hospital in the parking structure. But before I, and then, um, yes, I am putting in my energy for them. But before I go in there, I want to be able to share while my energy is in a different space with you because I just watched the Avengers again. This is my second time. My daughter was kind of underwhelmed. She told her son in secret <laughs> that it was overrated. I do not agree with her because um, normally when we see a movie together, when we're done with the movie, there's always a conversation afterwards, whether it's me and my daughter, me, the daughter and the grandson, me, daughter, grandson, and his friends. We always have a conversation afterwards. Now, granted, the movie was three hours long, so I feel we were a little exhausted. Um, but she told her son, my grandson, that it was overrated. I disagree. It was just as any superhero movie I'd expect. Um, I know when we went to see Aquaman, she was, you know, we had conversations afterwards. We really enjoyed it. Um, I, on my second time around seeing the Avengers, I, I enjoyed it and I understood it. Um, the only problem I had was I did not get to see Captain Marvel beforehand, even though I had heard it was sort of a intertwined. I love movies, by the way. I don't watch TV. And, you know, all of the Netflix and stuff like that, unless it's like some random something. But I don't watch TV on a regular basis. So I do get pleasure out of, out of going to the movies, seeing the big screen, experiencing the sounds. Um, I do like it very quiet, though, at the movies. So, uh, so most of the time I go to the movies with family members. But I thoroughly enjoy going to the movies by myself. I like to analyze the movie. I like to look at the backstory, see who the actors are. So I said all that to say that I only saw a snippet of Captain Marvel towards the end. You know, when you leave the movie, I went into another movie. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I did. And uh, it was probably 30 minutes of that left in the movie because I needed to find out what I may have been missing because... People were saying, all of the people that I know who are like superhero fans like myself, uh, my co-workers, they were like, oh, it's okay. You know, they kept saying, oh, it's okay. So I'm like, why are they just saying it's okay? So I have my thoughts about that, by the way. Um, so I saw the tail end of Captain Marvel. I don't know what people think about it. I thought it was a good movie from the little pieces I saw at the end. Um Granted, you know, I feel like it's sort of a sexist thing that the woman was the superhero. And then I did watch the credits at the end. And there were a lot of women on that film. I was impressed. So uh, so I'm going to probably try and go see the entire movie just to get an understanding. You know, it's all related to other stuff. I know The Shield comes on regular TV if it still does because my brother watches The Shield and they were all up in Captain Marvel. And I just thought all of the Marvel uh, films that are just intertwining with each other is just awesome. I can't wait to see Spider-Man. Can't wait to see Doctor Strange. Can't wait to see so on and so on. But the couple other thing I wanted to point out about women superheroes is so in uh captain marvel okay the main character was a woman superhero the pilot uh the woman who was i don't know what she was with samuel jackson was a a, a very you know had a big part in it obviously that's all the little piece i saw um but at the end like i said in the credits 
it was exec, uh, the women were executive producers, writers. They were all up in the film from what I could tell when I paid attention to the credits. So I was happy about that. Happy to see the girl power. And then I had whispered to my daughter when we were watching uh, Cap, uh, the Avengers at the end when all the ladies showed up to be on the front line. I thought that was awesome. I'm not giving up anything I, anything that people who haven't seen it and if you haven't seen it, I'm like, why? <laughs> um, but I, so I'm excited to see the women being highlighted. Uh, there was a, a, um, a critic, uh, I read it on uh, some blog, I don't remember which one, that talked about how the women were underrepresented in the Avengers and, oh, they got a token part at the end and this and that. There were a lot of freaking Avengers in that movie. So I couldn't even keep my mind on what superhero was who. You know, it goes fast. It's usually dark. Um, I'm going to now have to do research. This is my guilty pleasure. So just give me that, okay? It's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> I love superhero movies. Um, so I'm going to have to go and do my little research and see who all showed up in the Avengers Endgame. Like, who were the superheroes highlighted? Uh, I know the main characters, but when it came to the end, I wanted to know who all of those Avengers were. And again, they did highlight the ladies at the end. Um, I think they're going to, you know, I appreciate that. And then Stan Lee popped up in the film. I was like, that guy looks familiar in part of one scene. I forgot what scene it was. And there was Stan Lee. Um, so I'm wondering when they filmed this because I think I heard he passed away like recently, like a year ago or something. So I was wondering like, when did they make this? When did they film this? Because Stan Lee, I think, is, uh, you know, in Marvel comic world right now. Okay. Let's people getting out their car. I don't want them to whoever these people are. So my car is dark because I'm in the parking garage. It's still daylight. I mean, we still have about an hour's worth of real sun daylight outside. It's chilly here. I got my wool coat on. I am so over this freaking cold curse word weather. I am just over it. Um, so Enough about that. I'm just going to bask in the pleasure of going to the movies by myself, watching Endgame again. Um, some people, like I said, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, that's because I'm just a regular fan and um, Captain Marvel. But then, of course, I started daydreaming with my, um, you know, I really, in a, another life, I was supposed to be a writer and you know, all that good stuff. So I think about books and movies and screenplays and stuff. And uh, it would be really cool if somebody out there could create lots of other female superheroes and bring them to the big screen and not be Marvel and not be DC, but a female who's in charge of comic strips uh, and and superheroes. And it's, it's an all-female sort of superhero extravaganza like come up with all kinds of different superheroes I, I appreciate Marvel and DC Comics but you know us girls we've been around just as long as the guys so we have to step it up that's what I say but I just wanted to bring that little random rant that you know this was a self-care thing for me like I said there's several people in my family who are just just having a bad, you know, just having it so bad health wise. And, um, and I, that stresses me out. Like I really, you know, feel stress around that. And, and, uh, you know, what you, what can you do about it? You have to keep yourself in good shape because you have to support them, visit them, give them energy and all of that stuff. So I decided F it today. Um, I had one meeting, um, and I really, you know, of course, I have, I always have work to do, but I had one meeting today. And um, after that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to the movies. I'm going to take care of myself. Uh, I'm going to enjoy myself, get this little pleasure, my pleasure of something I enjoy doing, especially since it's cold outside and I can't just walk around. I could walk around. That's my choice, but I prefer to walk around in nice, sunny 
70 plus degree weather, not 45 degree weather, which is what I'm experiencing right now. So I just really wanted to stop in. This is totally random. Um, we'll get back on track soon. I have to test out my computer's camera and see how I can do some filming. I was at the coffee shop the other day and I was going to pull it out and and film something and then the meeting I had showed up and then the time went away and you know how it is. So thank you guys for continuing to watch and support me. I appreciate it. Again, uh, sorry about the lighting. Um, I just wanted to make sure I stay in touch with y'all and uh, we will continue our van process conversation really, really soon. Uh, one thing I just want to quickly mention is what I thought about yesterday or today while I was doing my planner stuff was to come on and and help uh, share with you like my stories or my vlogs that I'm going to be presenting to you guys in the future. I think that help, holds me a little bit more accountable. It helps me clarify what I'm wanting to talk about. And I'd be able to, if I was like using my computer, I'd be able to put it in the description a little better because when I'm using my phone, I, I don't know what the editing process is on the phone. It's sort of very rudimentary and basic. So I just put it up and, and let the chips fall where they lay because, you know, I want to get you guys some content, but I will be, um, doing my planner and doing some vlog planning that I want to kind of experiment with my computer to see how I can film that for y'all. Okay. So thank you again for joining me. Please subscribe if you have not. My name is Jacqueline. I'm with JW Van Minimal. I am planning a process of getting a van to travel across the country and talk about a whole range of things, including sustainability. So this is my pre-van work. Um, and I'll be bringing you some recipes. Uh, I'm going to be doing the mock van up in my closet and my uh, apartment, all of that good stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, uh, comment, feedback, share, uh, like, and uh, subscribe. I appreciate you. I'm grateful, and I will see you on the other side.